Hello and welcome back to another episode of Starfield. Today we're going to be going into the unknown. We need to talk to Vladimir. Sarah has asked me to go to the Eye, which is a star station that Constellation owns in the orbit of Jemison. We need to meet with Vladimir Sal to find out more about artifacts in the fringe of space. Let's go ahead and set a course. Uh, we're going to head over there now. All right, let's travel. So a few things that we've done between previous episodes and this one is we've upgraded our ship, put a couple of a couple of additional things on our ship. We've upgraded our grav drive, our engines, and our missiles. Got a bit more space, and we've also got a new gun. So we're going to be playing with that as well today. A new shotgun that we paid quite a lot of money for. Right, let's go ahead and press. Uh, no, not M. Sorry, we actually don't because we want to go to the uh, the I which is a station here, so we just need to locate it. There's the eye, it's there. So we can travel there by holding R. As you can see, we've got another engine on the back there. We need, we're, we're just missing one engine, we run out of money. So we'll upgrade that after this mission. All right, now that we're here, this is the eye. So we can go ahead and select this. We need to get close enough so we can go ahead and use our boost. Alright, and now we can dock. Docking site Alright, so we're going to board, but before we do that, we're just going to grab everything we need from our ship. I think we got everything. We sold everything else. So this is our cockpit. This is the old area that you know, but now we have this new hatch. This wasn't here before. So this new hatch takes us to a new compartment. So here we have our infirmary. Uh, our infirmary has a pharmaceutical lab on board, uh, which can come in handy, and a research lab. So we have that now. So as well as having a cooking station, which we have here, so this is a cooking station. Uh, sorry, cooking station galley here. Uh, and research station here. We now have a second research station here, research lab, and we have this as well. So, pharmaceutical lab, in case we need to make anything, we can make it here. And that's just in case we're away from our outpost and we need to heal, we can do that here. So we built this. All right, let's, uh, let's jump down. We're gonna dock. So we're not actually going out the ship, the bottom of the ship, we're gonna dock through the top. All right, here we go. Captain. So this is the eye, as you can see. A lot of places to go, but this is Vladimir, who we need to talk to. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together, but I got a little lost peeking through the eye. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts would be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the sea of light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull a worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Okay. So now we know what to do. We talked to Vladimir, now we need to find Andrea. So, uh, we can carry Show on talking to him later. Another time, then. Uh, but for now, we can simply press L, uh, go to our main mission, into the unknown. We need to find Andrea, so we can set a course. It's going to take us to Piazza, and we can just jump there.
All right, so we're going to go to this abandoned mine. As you can see from our ship, we have upgraded more missiles, we've got more cargo space on the side, we've added more fuel pods, uh, another engine, and a bit more space. So, we'll just have a very quick look around the ship while we're here, just so you can see it. So there's the fuel pods, above it is the cargo, additional cargo on both sides. Um, I updated, upgraded the grav drive as well. Uh, we have, <laughs> we have enough rocket uh, engines on the back but we could put one of these on the other side here just to finish it off make it more aesthetical um, but it does run perfectly so but it does need one more but yep yeah, that's the uh, ship all right let's head out so this is our new shotgun cost us a lot of money to buy this but more than it was worth but we're glad we got it all right we're gonna head over here here's an abandoned mine Is it abandoned? That's the question. No, it's not. I can see guards over there. I can see things over there. Okay. Right, well, no one's seen us just yet, so that's a good sign. Alright, so the question is, where are we going? Now, I know that there is a computer around here. And if we find a computer, there are turrets that we can get the turrets to turn and be on our side. But we need to find it. Okay, nothing to do over here. Let's head down. Hunting glow hands. Okay. The fact that it's got hunting in its name. Huh. If we can go down and see it, say hello to our little friend. Well, there's lots of them. I can't imagine they're very friendly, but we'll go and have a look anyway. That's a level 10. That doesn't seem to be too bothered by us. We can get quite close. bit of an aggressive stance. Seems to be throwing stuff at us. Okay, so it's quite good if we can get a shot on it. What do we get from it? Okay, definitely a few things there. Alright, let's get back to the base. Good to see the wildlife, find out what it's all about. Mines. Gotta be careful there. Don't wanna get trapped on them. Alright, let's uh let's have a look around, shall we? See what we got. Some good stuff to take there. The industrial workbench, we don't need it though. It's fine, nothing else really on this side here. No, I think we're good, we can head inside. Identify yourself. Here's our friend. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. You are the newest member, yes? 
Do they often send you to check up on other more senior members? Hmm. Perhaps. I suspect Vladimir worried you might find me on the ground, instead of this one. We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. Okay. So another cave, which means another artifact. Grab these guys' stuff. And let's head down. So there's guys down there. We can see them. There's a computer here. So use the computer. Robot control interface status inactive. All right. Let's update the friend foe. Recalibrate to us. All right. Excellent. And let's activate it. Great. Now we have an active robot. Here it is. Industrial robot. This is an active industrial site. It would be advisable to wear a hard hat. I am engaging the enemy. Hostiles incoming. Okay. Always worth checking. That was fun. All right, nice crit shots there. We'll grab that stuff. And let's head down. Oh. There we go. Great shotgun. Really, really easy to kill people. Worth the 30 odd thousand credits that it cost me to buy it. So, all right, let's head down the bottom here. Robots over there. That's good. Nothing over here to worry about. All right, we're good. Everyone's dead. The robot killed them all. Lovely. Makes our life much easier. We'll just loot them instead. And head over what appears to be this way. I don't know what that is, but we're going to kill it. Possible there's another one, but I don't think so. Just sounds like that one. Oh. Sounds like that one's just bugging out. Alright, let's go. So, to check which way we need to go. Right, we'll grab some stuff from there. It's a weapon case, we'll grab that. Couple of ammo cases. Alright, some stuff there. Good to go. Let's head up top. There is some stuff we can mine here. So, we've got some copper. And we can take that. And also that looks like some nickel. We'll grab that. Nice. What is that? Wow. One shot, one kill. Nice. Alright, well. We can head around behind this guy. And I think we'll be able to catch him without him being aware. Beautiful. Just very, very easy now to be able to kill everyone, especially at these low levels. Although there was a grenade there, I don't know where that came from. Oh. Okay, lots of people up there. That sounds like good fun. We'll go down and join them. Oh, we'll grab that, we'll grab that. I think we've got everything we need here. Alright, let's uh, jump off the edge here. And we're going to use our suit as we get quite low. Alright. So now we're down here, he shouldn't be able to shoot us. Jump up here. Jump up behind them. That one's dead. Oh. Come here, you. Alright. Just reload. 
And we're good to go. Sounds like there's one more. Or a couple more, maybe. Huh. Grenade. Uh, looks like they could be that way, so we'll go down and check down there in a sec. Just grab these bits. Oh, here they are. Grenade again. Oh. Where did he go? He jumped right up there. guy's got a good little booster on him. Uh oh. Ow. Alright, well he really is uh, jumping all over the place. There we go. And we'll grab his gun on the way down. Perfect. Let's go. This looks like it. This is the space. We know where we are. We know what happens here. So pretty much the same as before, we clear this area out, we come in here, and we grab the artifact. Back. Oof. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? Yep, that's correct. The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Yeah, I was a miner. Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... risk. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the, the circumstances in which you found me. This is okay. not the first time that Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you I understand? understand? Mom, this means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. They use I the English spelling as well, not the American. I to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. All right. I will meet you back at the lodge. Okie dokie. So... Into the unknown, we need to go to Samati. Now, I don't think we can do this at the moment. We are carrying too much. We cannot travel. We're going to have to head out the mine manually. Now, let's just see how much we're over. Oh, it's not actually that much. We could just drop a weapon. If we can find something that weighs something like six, uh, it would be a couple of these. Uh, it would be this. Um, what else could we do? Yeah, I think maybe we just drop a couple of those. So we have a few of these. 
Um, we can drop them. It's fine. We should be able to hopefully travel now. Uh, so let's see. If we press L, go to main, into the unknown, go here, set our course. There we go, set course, yes. So we can travel there. So worth dropping two guns to save us running back so we don't need to run back. Alright, now we're here. We can press M. Uh, find the artifact on Smati. So this is another one. There's two artifacts. We found one. We're going to go and find a second one now. So let's land. Now, what we're going to do before we get out, we're not going to exit the ship. We're actually going to get out of our seat and we're going to dump everything we've got in our inventory into the ship. So we're just going to get up. All right. And then we're going to drop all of our cargo off. So check out our weapons that we've got and uh, we can get rid of all of these. We're just going to keep anything with a heart. Alright, we can also check out resources. We can store all of the resources that we've got here. Alright, perfect. And also we've got some spacesuits as well. So we can drop these off. Uh, the pack we've got. Uh, we've got two packs there. We can drop one of those off. And the helmets. Drop those off. Alright, so now we're a lot lighter. Which is good. But I think we've also got a point that we can use. Skill point. We do. Uh, so we can go to our tech tree here. Uh, we've got security, so we can actually rank up to level 2 in security now. So now we need to pick 15 locks. Um, but this now we can attempt expert. Uh, expert locks. And also we get free auto attempts that can be banked. Alright, so now we're heading towards this. We need two more points here. We can get to Starship Engineering and Starship Design. Um, which is something that we can work towards, which we're on our way now to Starship Design. We need two more points in here to be able to do that. All right, let's keep going. So now everything's been dropped off. We can press M. Oh, we don't actually need to do that. We'll just, we'll just uh, leave the ship. We'll go this way. Okay. And we could take to Vasco. I'd like you to follow me for a while. Alright, now he's following us. We've now got our companion. So, Terra Fluorides in the ground here. Different gravity on this planet as well, so we're not jumping as much. Oh, looks like there's bad guys here. There's a turret. Uh, let's have a look. So... Like a creaturey thing there. Looks like it's coming towards us. Is it dangerous though? That's the question. Doesn't look dangerous. No, it's not. Thing just wanted to run away. Alright, so we know there are turrets here. We've got to be careful keeping an eye on them. Oh. Alright, everything's shooting at us. Nice. Good to know. can jump into this fight here. That's one turret gone. We're going to run up these stairs. Okay. Sometimes just much, much easier if you jump in behind them, they don't expect it. Quick reload. Oh, 
Oh, there's another turret there. Oh. Not a good idea to blow that up. There we go. Nice. Looks like there's one more guy over here. Oh, we've got other guns as well. If we wanted a sniper rifle, we could use that instead. Wait for him to pop his head up. And he's not even popping his head up. He's putting his hand up. There he is. All right. Well, he's down. Wait for him to get back up. He might get back up. Wow. Okay. Lots of dead people. Happy days. Alright, let's go and check this guy out. Get his stuff. There's one more guy over there, but I don't really feel he's much of a problem. Uh, there was also the turret over here as well. Oh, he's still... There we go, he's dead. Alright, so there was the turret over here as well. Oh, there's another guy here. He's dead. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's everything now. So there was a turret around here. Um, just have to recall exactly where it was. I think it was underneath here somewhere. Oh, there's a couple more. All right, let's see if I can find them. Well, I know that there was a turret over here. So for this turret, we can actually come over here. We can get onto the roof over here, up to the edge. And I can jump up. We can actually... There we go. We can grab the bits out of that. So there was like a com relay. Oh, wow. That was a very aggressive... Uh, there we go. Dead. There is one more up here somewhere. I don't know where though. Oh, I think the other turret was here. Yes, yes, yes. There was a turret here as well, look. So, again, we can... If we want to, jump directly underneath it. And then we can grab the stuff from inside it. So, it's always worth doing that. Just to make sure you get extra stuff grab the stuff off of them and yeah I think that's pretty much everything I, find you. I think they're on top anyway we're not too bothered about that let's uh let's go into here and we can grab all of this stuff from on here and then we can flick this switch so flick that switch and it will open up this door and we're good to go inside All right, into another mine. Okay, so we know it's not a friendly mine. Get some credits there, okay. Make sure there's nothing else here that we want or need. No, I think we're good. Grab a med pack, always good. Uh, nothing else there I don't think we need. I can grab those. The hell was that? I'll take the nutrients out of it. All right, let's uh, let's head down. All right, so here, grab that credits there as well. 
195 credits. The uh, dark lager always worth a bit of money, so worth grabbing. Uh, what else we have? Cigarettes are always worth some money as well, so worth grabbing. All right. Wow, these guys look like they had a good time before they died. Uh, we grab the med pack. Med pack's always worth grabbing. This door being locked, we're going to unlock it first. So in order to do this, we need... Um, that looks like a good one to do. And then we've got the three that can go here. No, not quite. That one doesn't fit. Okay. Um... Damn, that wasn't the best best one to pick. Um, maybe we go for... No, not that one either. Maybe that. And then... So that would do two. That would do those two. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, we can do this one. Or we can auto slot one. Huh. Okay, I think we made a mistake, so. All right, we're gonna have to redo this one. Uh, we didn't, we made a mistake. So, hmm. Maybe not that one. Definitely not this one either. Although that one does work. Or maybe that one. Then we've got this one. Okay. And then we need... That one. Yep. And then this one. There we go. We're in. Right, grab another med pack. Always good to have med packs. Grab the ceiling. Some snake oil, we'll grab that. A lamp planter, we'll grab that. Not really much else in here, I don't think. We'll just uh we'll have a quick check. Oh, grab the speakers, I guess. Oh, there's a cred stick there, didn't see that. I do not understand your attachment to all these objects. Huh, yeah, me either, my friend, me either. Uh, we don't need any of that. Uh, take the helmet, don't need a helmet stand. Alright, I think we're pretty good, we've got everything we need. Let's head down. Awesome. Not a door that's locked. We need to unlock these anyway, so this is great. We can do this. Uh, this one should be a little bit easier. Oh, it's not that one, that's for sure. Did that one and this one. Nice. And we managed to level up as well. Oh wow, look at this. A couple of cutters in here. A couple more in there. We can sell them. Uh, what have we got in here? That looks like another digipack. Oh. Stop it. Behave. I'm trying to loot in here. Alright, miners, jackets, books. Quite a lot of stuff here. Oh wow, more lockers. These lockers open from this side, they do. Wow, lots of stuff in here. Okay. I think we've got everything we need from in here, so let's go. We're going to head out.
Okay, not a helmet. I'll grab that and check this guy out. Grab all his gear as well. We've got quite a lot of stuff on us at the moment, so... Very possible we might need to speak to our friend here, get him to carry some stuff for us. Especially if we don't need all this rubbish. Alright, let's head down. Pascal's quite good at defending with us if we need someone to fight. He's quite good at doing that. Another door, which is locked. We need 15 doors to unlock anyway, so we may as well may as well do these. They're good for us. This one is uh, expert level, so this is three levels we need to go through now. Three levels. So, uh, we're going to have to take our time and really think about this. Uh, go for that one first, and then it looks like possibly this one. Okay, then we've got a two here. With this one here. And then this one looks quite simple. It's this one and then this one. Nice. So hopefully bigger doors open up for bigger prizes. So lithium in here, look. So we'll take that. Nice bit of lithium, some sealant. Oh wow, some really good stuff in there. We'll take all that. And some cartridges, we'll take those. Weapon case with a gun in it. Nice. Loads of ammo here. Take all of that. And the only reason we can do this and pick this stuff up and all this good stuff is because we were able to... Oh. Look at that. Another suit for us. Another deep max, deep mining pack suit. So if we click on that, we can take all the stuff off the mannequin. Alright, now we've got that as well. Definitely uh, encumbered now. Totally worth it. Alright, let's see. How much stuff have we got? 246 out of 145. Yes, we are heavy. So, uh, let's speak to our friend and give him as much of our gear as we can. So, we're going to start off with our spacesuits because they're quite heavy and we'll give him these now. Actually, we're going to keep this one because this one looks quite good. So, that means we can, um, we can give up all this gear. And instead, we can equip this one by pressing B. Ah, nice. Up to 100, plus 100 energy resistance and physical resistance to lower your health is. And a minus 54 damage. Nice. All right, so this is a good, good suit for us to have. All right, looking at packs. Uh, we can put this pack on. This is actually quite a good pack. So we'll, we'll get rid of all of the rest of this. And we'll keep this one. All right, and then we're going to go for helmets as well. So... Yep, looks like this helmet's going to be a good one to have as well. So we're going to equip this helmet, the Varon Space Helmet, and we'll get rid of everything else for now. Alright, so this is our new look. All of our new gear. Uh, but we're still a little bit heavy, so we'll get rid of the apparel that we don't need. And also, I think we can get rid of some of the resources that we have here. So we'll just store as many resources as we can. We're still a little bit heavy. Just a little bit, so we'll just get rid of a few more bits here. Oh, now one thing we need to do is go back to... Oh, interestingly, that's the ship. We don't want that. We want Vasco. So, I think from Vasco, we gave him the Digipix by mistake. There we go. Goodbye for now. Alright, now if we check our inventory, we can see we're 137, so we're in a good place. Vasco is... Captain Steve. Hello, how can I be of assistance? Yep, he's going to be pretty full, so 108. So, he's not too bad, but... I'm sure we can give him a few more things. Uh, no, actually, we don't have much else. Aid, we've got quite a bit of aid here, so... Alright, let's give him... Let's give him some of this stuff that we don't need. In fact, we'll give him all of this. We're going to keep the heart, because we want that. And we're going to keep the med pen. We've still got 21 med pens, so... Totally fine for medicine. Everything else we'll just dump across there. Alright, and weapons. We've got loads and loads of weapons as well, so... Look loads of these cutters so we can get rid of like five of these um, I don't think we want any of this so we can get rid of that oh I don't think he can uh, I don't think he can take any more so yeah he's full all right Farewell. well good to know he's full as are we almost so yep yeah, we need to go down here now
Okay, that's it. I'm gonna reload. There was another one in here, but I don't know where they went. Oh, upstairs there. So a good little distraction there. We get to take them all out. Oh, another gun. Some more ammo. There's so much stuff. This is a, a really good run for us. Uh, we're going to sell a lot of this, make a lot of money afterwards. Now we could head up that side, but it looks like we're going to go up here instead. If you're unsure, just press F and you'll see. Yep, this is where we're going. There's the artifact we wanted. There we go. Grab this stuff. Get it all out of the way. And as before. Alright, now I have a feeling we're going to be we're not actually, we're under, so that's good. So now we can press L because we're under. We can go to our missions, go to our main mission. And now we need to add the artifacts to the collection. So in order to do that, we need to go back to the lodge. We can set a course. We can now go directly back to the lodge. And we can skip that whole process of having to leave the cave. And the only way that works is if we're not overweight, which is why it's really beneficial if you can to up upgrade your weight. So the two things I'm focusing on is my starship, to get access to my starship, and uh, increasing my carry capacity. Alright, so in we go. Alright, we just put our gun away. Thank goodness. We were worried. Uh, there's one, and there's I the other one. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Um... Another realist has joined our ranks. I'm outnumbered. The truth hurts, Mateo. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. I have no objections. Looks like we have a new Let's crew member. Let's see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Ah, hello. Right. So she's now following us. Awesome. And we have a new skill point. So we need to get towards this. So we can go for shield systems, that's optional. Payloads. So ship cargo holds 10% more. This is a good one for us. Engine systems, top speed uh, additional 10%. Uh, weapons have 10% increased damage and cost 15% less to use. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, boost pack training. So if we did this, we could, uh, using a boost pack expends less fuel. I don't think we need that one. Um, your ship has 20% increased shield capacity. So, hmm. Do we want more shields? More shields means we die less. We haven't really been in many space fights yet. Um, payloads is good because 10% more capacity. Uh, that could come in handy. So, although we do have a lot, a lot of capacity at the moment. So, that 20% increase in shield capacity could be really good for us. So, I think we're going to go for that one. 
And we're going to unlock that. Alright, so one more point now. Spend one more point and we get our Starship design. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's it for this video. I believe we've completed it. Just going to double check. Oh, no, we haven't. We're still here. So we're going to carry on. I thought we'd finished. Uh, we need to head back. So let's travel. And we've not quite finished the mission yet. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Alright, there's the eye. So we'll go over to the eye. And we can press R to dock. Alright, so now we can board. How can I be of service, Captain? Well, you can stay there, Vasco. You're all good. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. Alright. Let me transfer over the data, but I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. And from there, Maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Let's see. All right, so now we've got a new job. We need to go over now to Pricon Free. So let's go ahead and set a course. And we can jump over here. All right, here we are. We're in the Pricon A system. Grandma? Okay. We need to go to the scanner anomaly. It's a quite a long mission, this one. Now, what we could have done uh, while we were back at the lodge is we could have gone and dumped all of our stuff and sold it. But we'll do that before we leave here. So, before we get off the ship, we'll jump out and we'll dump everything in the ship so we're empty so that when we go in, anything we loot. Uh, that's the most important thing for us at the moment, is anything we loot, we get to pick up and take with us. We don't want to leave anything behind. So, come across to our cargo. And here, we're going to drop all, all the weapons off that we don't need. So, um, check our inventory off. Here we go. Uh, now, already we know the weapons that we like to use. and we, There's not actually that many of them. So, okay. To be honest, that's pretty much everything. Everything else we want to keep on us at the moment. Nothing else really to get rid of at the moment. Uh, that stuff can all stay there. Oh, got two of them, so we can get rid of one. All right, now we need to meet and see uh, if Vasco's down here. Hopefully he's outside. There he is. All right. So before we go any further, we're going to talk to him. Trade gear. There is room in my storage hold for further items. There's not that much room to be honest with you, mate. We're going to take everything from him. All right. Return soon. So now he's empty. We'll just quickly pop back inside before we go any further, and we'll dump all of his stuff off as well. Okay. So weapons, uh, again, a few more weapons here, so we'll just drop these off in the store. Spacesuits, we've got lots of these now, so we'll jump all them. Uh, the packs as well, they do weigh quite a bit. Oh, another pack there. Lots of helmets. Uh, he had lots of resources on him, so we'll store all of those. And some miscellaneous items as well, so we can get rid of those as well. We'll keep the digi picks on us. Everything else can go. All right, so now we're in a better place. Vasco's empty as well. 
and that means that when we go on this run we'll be able to reloot again and we're gonna have a lot more stuff so as you can see just a few missions in and already we are uh, we're really in a good place so we're looking around and as we do we're looking for we're looking for our scanner there we go so in this direction our scanner there this is the way we need to go we're looking for a distortion in our scanner and that's the way we're going So it's kind of this way. Right, also, that's water. Argon. In fact, I can probably do a using some of that. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to get that. I thought that was next to it, not part of it. Copper. I'll grab that. That's the way we want to go. What's this thing? A herding crab fly grazer. Okay, another one there. Okay. Interesting. All right, this is the way we want to go. Uh, some crossroad there. Looks like some more frost reed, so we'll go and have a look at that. So it looks like that's where we're heading for. Investigate the source of the anomaly. So, looks like a strange space. We're going to find out what's happening here. Oh, that's her. I wonder what she's doing. Now, there's something up there. I can see it moving. Don't know what it is. Location discovered. Temple. looks like the way in. This looks like it's opening for us. Okay. Let's go into the temple. Space to float up and down and left crawl trial to flow down. Are they moving? They seem to react to us. Alright, so here we can see this little anomaly over here. If I fly over to this. Now you can see as I go through this. There's another one over here, so we have to fly through these. And this starts to speed up. So we can start to see this speeding up now. Now we need to go through a few more of these. There's another one here. And another one up here. I didn't get through that one in time, so you got to get through them quite quickly before they disappear. Another one over here, and one up here. So you can use your boost pack, make you go a little bit quicker. OK, 
Okay, another one here. Oh, another one appearing just over here. There we are. So now the rings, which look like the artifacts that are complete, uh, have now all aligned to a portal so that we can go through. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, you now have a superpower. So we can press tab, and we now have powers at the top here. So we have skills, inventory, missions, ships, star maps, and now we have powers. Clicking on powers, we have an anti-gravity field. So we can actually uh, apply this as our favorite, and we can use it. So we now have the uh, ability to see this and to use this. So. All right, let's uh, let's head back. All right, now we have our power equipped. All right? We need to get you back to the lodge. Uh, we can now use these. So to equip our new power, select the arrow at the top, access powers, select a power to use it. Now it's active. All right, now that it's active, we can use it. Press Z to use our power. And now under our health, you're going to see we now have a power bar as well that's going to recover. So we have that as well. All right. Now we have powers. Going back to the main menu, into the unknown, we need to return to the lodge. So let's uh, set a course. And let's head back to the lodge. All right, now we're back. They're going to want to see our superpowers. We can go and show them. We are fortunate that Walter has used his considerable funds to maintain the lodge, are we not? Crix's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm going to start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. What in the blackest sea are you going on about? What did it do to you? Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? All right, here we go. Saw that, right? Oh, yes. Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. But we do not understand the connections. We need additional information. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. Oh, yes. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. Don't think it's just Fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. Okay, there we go, mission complete. So new skill point available. Nine and a half thousand credits added as well and finish off our ship. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. So let's just go and use our skill point up.
So now we can unlock this uh, additional 10% hold. Uh, we don't really need it, but we can do it anyway. And now we have, when we get our next point, we've unlocked the ability to improve our ship modules, which is what we want to be able to get a better starship. Uh, and then we're going to be able to get B-tier uh, grav drives. Now you can't upgrade any of the class parts unless it meets the part of the grav drive and the reactor. So the reactor has to be a B-class before you can install B-class uh, item. And so that's what we need this for. So, okay, all good. All right, that video is now finished. We've completed everything we needed to complete. I'm going to go ahead, sell all my stuff, finish off my ship, and I will join you for the next mission. See you soon.